Welcome back to another episode of Trying Shit so you don't have to. Today I'm in Stanford, Connecticut trying Dominican food at Mama's Kitchen. Let's pop soap for one take. You know the deal. See what we're working with here. I spent like $22. I got a whole bunch of shit. Let's start off here with the appetizers, dude. Beef and cheese, empanada. We'll start off with this guy here. It's looking good, dude. Here we go. Beef in there. Definitely some cheese. She asked if I want a green sauce or pink sauce. I said, give me both. I don't know what they are. Mmm. Tomatillo. I'm getting tomatillo from that green one. The beef in here is pretty solid, dude. Let's try out this pink sauce. I hope it's not that pink sauce from TikTok, dude. Here we go. That one is more tomato-based. You get more, uh, almost like a ketchup. Almost like a ketchup-y mayo. And then this one's kind of like a, like a heat tomatillo salsa almost. The beef and bananas, good. It's a good beef and banana. Mama's Kitchen overall, beef and banana. I'll go, I'll go 8.6 out of 10. It's good. Next up here, bolita. Oh, shit. It broke open. It broke open. I have a bolita. This is a bolita de yuca, I believe. Look at that cheese, dude. Oh, my God. Look at that. I'm a big yuca guy. Here we go. Oh my God. Dude, this is phenomenal. You're getting the taste and the texture of some yucca action, but the cheese is just, this is amazing, dude. <laughs> I'm gonna plop that shit on top. Do we mix it, mix it up? Let's mix up the colors here. No segregation of colors, dude. Here we go. That looks like a great bite. Dude, Dominicans are out here crushing it. Croqueta. Cro croqueta? No, no, no. Boletta. Boletta de. Boletta de uh, yuca. I think that's what it's called. Overall, that guy, I'll go like 9.5 out of 10. It's really good. And finally, here, this right here is the Croqueta de Pollo, I believe. I think it's like a chicken nugget, kind of. Here we go. Okay, the inside of that, it's a little dry, it's a little dry. Let's dip it in this tomato-based sauce. I don't think I like this one. The inside is just too mushy. It's just too mushy for me. The outside is nice, crispy, crunchy, but the inside is really dry. Extremely dry and mushy, and I don't think I like that one very much. Sorry, Mama's Kitchen. Overall, that guy, I'll go, man, I'll go six flat out of ten. Finally here, we have the star of the show. I don't even know if I mentioned I got this. This right here is a Cuban, Cuban sandwich. Stuff is dropping everywhere. What was that that just dropped? A little French fry? You want to try a fry, girlfriend? Come here. Try a French fry. There you go. There you go. What do you think about that? What do you rate the fry, girl? Yeah. Here we go. Okay. Cuban sandwich. Cuban sandwich from a Dominican place. Let's pop this guy open. See what we're working with here. Oh, you got pickle action on there. You love to see it. Pork. A little bit of ham and cheese. Pressed down into a little panini guy. Here we go. Okay, it's pork. It's chewy pork. I'm chewing, I'm chewing. That pork is the opposite of tender, dude. I'm trying to just, I wish I could just show you guys that pork. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be like that. We're going we're gonna to try the pork straight up, dude. Okay, it's a little stringy, little ass. The bread's great. Take a nice big bite of this guy here. Mm. 
Amen. No. No. No, no, no. I'm chewing, I'm chewing, I'm chewing. If I try to swallow this, I'm going to die, dude. It's clumping up in the back of my throat like a ball of yarn. This dry, extremely dry pork is not it. It's not it. I'm sorry, Mama's Kitchen. I didn't want to be negative, but it just is what it is. Let's try out the fries real quick. Fries are good. I agree with you, McKenzie. Overall, Cuban sandwich, I'll go 3.1 out of 10. And fries, I'll go 8.9.